Hey, it's GW coming to you live once again with yet another video review. This is one of my favorite films of all time. It's called The War of the Roses, as you can see. It stars Michael Douglas, Kathleen Turner, and Danny DeVito. It is also directed by Danny DeVito. It came out in 1989 and, and is produced by 20th Century Pictures. 20th Century Fox Pictures, I'm sorry. As you can read the caption, it says, Once in a lifetime comes a motion picture that makes you feel like falling in love again. This is not that movie. And the tagline is pretty much right. If you haven't seen this movie, this is a classic film. It describes that you're typical married couple with problems. And I know I'm speaking to everybody out there. However, these people, Kathleen Turner and Michael Douglas' character, have more problems than the average couple. They don't just argue and go to bed. They argue and ruin dinner parties. They smash urns. They do devious little tricks to each other that most married people wouldn't even think about doing. So with that in mind, this is the story of Kathleen Turner's character and Michael Douglas's character. And it follows them through the dating, through their first Christmas, and ultimately to the point where the marriage becomes boring and spiteful and bitter. Kathleen Turner's character is named Barbara Rose, and she is married to Michael Douglas's character, Oliver Rose. Now, the film doesn't make clear whether or not that this story is really a true story or a fiction thought, thought up by Danny DeVito, who plays a divorced lawyer in the film who is counseling a divorced or soon-to-be-divorced husband. And Danny DeVito basically narrates this story, and we go through the lives of Barbara and Oliver. The fun begins, oh, I would say midway point in the film, when the, they try to one-up each other in being nasty. Oliver ruins a dinner party thrown by Barb. Barb turns the sauna on in Oliver's steam room. And it just escalates. There are so many classic lines of this film. But when you, what you take away from this film is basically to have a successful marriage, you have to compromise. You have to make, you know, light of the other person's concerns. You have to work together. And Barbara and Oliver clearly do not do that. And this is the special edition. Uh... And it has a couple of extra features in it. As I was saying, this is the collector's edition. has some commentary on it from the director, Danny DeVito. It has deleted scenes, storyboards, still galleries, your typical, you know, bonus stuff. The deleted scenes are pretty interesting. They don't add up to much, but it would have been nice if they would have been used in the film. The trailer and the TV spots are absolutely picture-perfect. For this movie. I mean they, they really give you a sense of what the movie's about. Um, and Danny DeVito for directing this. You know he did a really good job. Especially since the movie. The first half of the movie. The tone of the film is way different than the second one. The other thing that's interesting. Is that all three of these main actors. Kathleen Turner, Michael Douglas and Danny DeVito. Were in two other films that most people do not know about. Romancing the Stone and Jewel of Nile. They were pretty much big in the 80s. If you haven't seen either one of those, I think you ought to check those out if you especially like these guys. Uh, basically, in those two films, you're going to have to watch Romancing the Stone first. It's about a novelist named Joan Wilder, played by Kathleen Turner, who meets up with Jack Colton, played by Michael Douglas. And it's just, I would say, to put it lightly, it's Indiana Jones light. Danny DeVito's in there as a small-time con man, and it's just great. But this is the third feature featuring the three, and they do a really good job, I mean, honestly. And Danny DeVito is a divorce attorney. He does great. You actually believe him in the film. What's really interesting, too, is that everybody knows this movie for one scene. That is the infamous chandelier scene. I'm not going to go into how Barbara and Oliver end up on the chandelier at the end of the movie, but it's the one film 
that pretty much are the one scene that basically sums up the movie. When they are on the chandelier and you see it start to break, the wire holding up the chandelier sort of lets loose, you know, very quickly. And it's a metaphor for how quickly a marriage can go downhill. So, like I said, this is one of my favorite pictures of all time. It is a wickedly fun watch to see these guys, Barbara and Oliver, try to one-up each other. But it also is a metaphor for how to make a marriage not work. But you take away from this film, the idea you take away is that, you know, if you love somebody, after watching this, you're going to hold them tighter, and you're going to thank God you're not Barbara and Oliver. So, if I was to go to a movie theater today and this was playing, I would book double viewings, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great film. It's great. It has great actors. And it also tells a very cool story. And a very black comedy. A very well done black comedy, I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, this is something that every married couple should watch or engaged couple before getting in to at least see how bad a marriage can get off. And like I said just a minute ago, if you watch this film and you're with your significant other, I would say just grab them a little tighter because you are not Barbara and Oliver. And I'll see you at the Rose Mansion. GW out.